Good morning, Wednesday morning, and I'm glad to be back on and up and running. Um, last Wednesday night, um, <coughs> something happened and the Wi Fi went down. Um, being bank holiday in England, um, sort of everything stops. So it was yesterday by the time I managed to get the engineer in to um, not correct the fault, he had to replace the router box. So anyway, I'm up and running now, thankfully, and uh, need to address a couple of things. There's a few uh, videos I wanted to do. One I started last night, but I was that tired. Um, and I kept, you know, forgetting what I was going to say or mucking up or whatever. Um, so I gave up in the finish. Um, so this one now, this video now, is to address a couple of things. Um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where to start really. It's just so funny. Um, have a cup of tea, Anne. Excuse me a minute. First of all, the crafting lady or the mesh lady, as I think of her. Apparently, now I haven't seen the video, I don't know whether she's taken it down even, but I don't really watch her videos. Sometimes people give me the heads up about me being talked about and I do watch them. Um, but I did see by Wonders uh, channel that certain things were going on and I, I had to ask yesterday, you know, what, what's going on? Because I hadn't seen anything. So, in a nutshell, Mrs. Crafting is saying that I've got some sort of tracking device so I can track her and um, I'm going into chat rooms to not quite sure what I'm supposed to be doing in the chat rooms but I'm following her into chat rooms now as she would say let's get one thing straight I don't go into chat rooms um, I've been on a couple of live streams a few live streams not very many um, just to say hello really to people not get into any in-depth conversation and certainly these live streams have not been anywhere that she is to my knowledge we don't have the same circle of friends um i'm in england she's in the us um so the the time difference there going into chat rooms so what is she on about? So let's get this straight. She, I am going to put the record straight a little bit. Um, when she had the argument with uh, Chief, sorry, I'm just watching somebody at the bottom of my drive. When she had the argument with T PM, she and there was all the brew ha ha and T PM was crying, etc. Um, Mrs. Crafting said that uh, she'd had she had a heart attack and she ended up at the hospital because of all the stress. But she was back on YouTube within a couple of hours. There you go. Some people can bounce back from these things. And then um, she 
her husband, her son, the landline, were all ringing incessantly day and night. Um, and this went on for a couple of videos till she got a bit of views up. And then we didn't hear anything else about that. And then all the hate mail she's been receiving, both via post, um, snail mail, and emails, etc., etc. Of course, now this holier than thou woman likes to tell people that she took her other channel down because of hate. As far as I'm aware, nobody's been hating on her. I know that I don't bother with her. I know that Wanda just wanted to let things be, but we weren't allowed to. We were not only provoked, but we were bullied by um, Sherry's brother, who was doing the skits, and Sherry herself. Um, to Sherry's fans out there, did you see the skits? where she and her brother were laughing at Wanda and laughing at Wanda's disability and sitting in a wheelchair, this was Sherry, puffing on a cigarette and laughing like a lunatic. It wasn't very pleasant. Did you see the video she made about me and my husband? I can't even repeat the words, but I have said that sort of bullying, it made me realise, because it made me ill, and it made me realise just how people can be pushed to harming themselves because they're hurting so badly. And she doesn't care who she hurts, neither does that brother of hers. So the reason that she took her last channel down. What happened was, as her fans will know, so I don't know why you're still following her because it must be as plain as day that this woman is sick. Um, her brother made a channel. Sherry came on, made a video crying, say, oh, saying I won't be back. If I die, it's his fault, blah, blah, blah. He's made this channel um, specifically about me to hurt me. And it see, certainly seemed that way because the brother came on and he made a video saying that his sister was lying about having cancer, that she had said in 2009 I sort of vaguely remember the dates, 2009, 2011, 2013, 2015. These years, he was saying that she was insisting that she had cancer then. So this is like the fifth, maybe sixth time that she's done it, according to her brother who she said, she did say, was a liar. So that's why she took the channel down. The bullying was via her brother, not via anybody else. I don't know what's wrong with her. You know, um, she made that video to hurt me and her brother laughing about my husband having dementia. What sort of low people are you? Her son having a channel called Elite Cast with the logo for Anonymous going round saying he was going to target this channel, target that channel. Just who do they think they are, this family? You know, normalcy in 
human beings um, and being wired the correct way means that you show or you want to show to others what you would want to receive from them. You show love, you show generosity, you show kindness. That's normalcy. That's and forgiveness, showing forgiveness. And I did let things lie, and I have let things lie. I don't hate on her, I don't say anything about her. I like to think that my higher being comes into play. You know, I talk about um, higher vibrational levels, etc. How on earth could you reach a higher vibrational level if you're full of hate and negativity? Which I'm not. Which brings me on to something else. Apparently, I haven't seen the video, and apparently she's taken it down. But a few people have told me about this video, where she was crying for about an hour. It was all about me. Anne Parks. All about me. And... She said, apparently, I hope she sees this video, meaning me. I hope she sees this video. Um, you know, see how upset I am. Um, because of following her into the chat rooms was causing her so much distress. I haven't been in any chat rooms. Let's get this straight. I haven't been in any bloody chat rooms. I haven't said anything or done anything. You know, I don't know what's wrong with you, as I say. Normalcy, we're wired to show this generosity of spirit and love and kindness, which is what I try to do. So with you, all this hatred and the lies that you tell and the fingers that you constantly point at people. Is what's wrong with you? Is it genetic? Is it faulty wiring in the head? A biological imbalance? Or are you simply hateful and cruel? And wicked because you choose to be. Excuse me. I don't know. I have every um, confidence that that as of a brother of yours, a grown man who pulls his trousers down and shows his backside to people saying that's what he thinks of them, who makes fun of my husband, who makes fun of Wanda. who makes fun of everybody and anybody. He seems to have gone now from being um, wanting to show you for what you are, for being a liar, to attacking other people. And as for you, the way you were attacking people with him, you know, I wondered whether you'd actually been hitting the sherry bottle. You are just 
a creature who hounds people continuously. That's my bell, excuse me. I've got the address on the other side. And it's from my one of my friends in the States. Oh, how lovely. Thank you so much. You know who you are. Thank you. And whatever it is, I'm going to love it. Thank you. I'll open it later. Where was I? Yes, the creature from the abyss. I think the, um, the hounding and the bullying, I don't think it's ever going to stop. I don't think you can help yourself. And as I say, whether it's genetic or whether you're just evil, I really don't know. And I'm sure that your brother will be back as well. I'm going on to something else with you. You came on making videos about a lady. I'm not going to say a name because the name's been bandied about enough. But um, you latched on to the fact that this lady was saying that she'd got cancer, which apparently she does have. But there was some ambiguity about whether she had or whether she hadn't. Um, it really gets wearisome. This does. And you were saying, that woman, you need to give them donations. Back. These were your words. This woman, you need to give that money back to people. She hasn't got cancer. You actually said that. You made that definitive statement on more than one occasion. I don't know whether that video is still up. I know that you remove videos, but you said definitively, and now you're saying, now you've discovered that the woman is in a hospice. Now you're saying that, oh, I'll pray for her. Um, I don't really know, I don't know her. Well, if you don't know, and you don't know her, why were you saying such awful things about her? Why? You know, bullies are very weak people. They crave attention. Are you not getting enough attention from your husband? You've had three husbands. You're on your third. And being the strict religious woman that you are, I would have thought that you'd have worked at your first marriage. But maybe you got sick of all the negativity. I've never, ever, ever come across a person like you. I've never. And to start off with, when this... Um, aggression towards me started. It actually started when I berated someone for scamming people for money because a friend, her mother, her elderly mother, who's 90 odd, felt sorry for this woman and her children and she sent money from her pension, however it works in the States, and she sent money. She sent gifts. Her daughter worked it out. It came to the tune of $700 that she'd sent this woman because she felt sorry for her. And when I made a point of saying, you know, this needs to stop, all this, 
you know, the um, blessed mail every day and things on big things, all this e-begging that goes on. And it's surreptitious and it's very, very clever. It's said in such a way that, you know, oh, the children are going to go out without or I can't afford so-and-so or, you know, and you come across con people, confident people, they gain your confidence and how easy it must have been to gain, gain the confidence of a 90-year-old woman who was feeling sorry for two little children and then finding out that money she'd sent had been blown on Dollar Tree nonsense and crafting stuff and um, DVDs and such like. Why not furniture? Why not a sofa? Anyway, I'm not getting into that now. But this is why and how you decided to target me. Because I made a point of saying that the e-begging was disgusting, which it was. And I know there's a lot of e-beggars on YouTube. It's not my business. That became my business because my friend, who I've known for about eight years, through the animal rights movement, it was her mother, and therefore it became personal to me. So that's why you targeted me. And maybe you saw me as someone who would um, fold easily because of all the stress in my life. The stress in my life is a blessing. The stress in my life has made me realise how deeply I love my husband. How deeply I love my children and grandchildren. And how deeply I care for my friends. And how deeply I care for humanity. Stress. negativity and positivity in my life is occurring to turn me into the being I was meant to be all along. You know, we are spirits clothed in a suit of flesh we are spirits. We are all part of that great oneness. All of us. And we all, each of us have that God spark in us. And it makes me feel, how dare you disrespect the Creator, how dare you disrespect that God spark within you because by what you're doing to other people that's exactly what you're doing, disrespecting. What you give out, it will come back to you. You give out love and gentleness and positivity and that's what you'll attract. Constantly give out gossip and hatred and bullying and finger pointing and lying. It's what you'll attract. It brings me very nicely on something else. 
I was going to make a joke of this. I was going to wear a pointy hat. Um, there's one lying around somewhere. Not mine. Um, belonged to one of the children from next door when they were dressing up. And um, anyway, apparently in this video, this hour long video dedicated to me, I should be on the radio, shouldn't I? Um, you accused me of being a practicing witch. I'm lost for words. A practicing witch. I cast a spell on you because you're mine. Stop the things that you do. You're not. Where did that come from? Parks, practicing witch extraordinaire. I only learnt about it last night. Or early this morning, I should say. So where did that come from? Anne Parks is a practicing witch. In a nutshell, Anne Parks is a practicing witch who's got a tracker device on me and follows me everywhere. Do you realise what you sound like? Like a neurotic, psychopathic rat bag. What is wrong with you? A practicing witch? Well, I don't know anything about witchcraft. I do know about herbs. I have, um, I like to make herbal tea and I've got a friend who actually um, is making quite a nice little business out of making soaps and, you know, stuff like that. But um, maybe you could enlighten me about this witchcraft business because I've got no idea where that came from. I mean, what next? What's it going to be next? That I'm um, a transvestite or a transgender or um, I swing nude from lampers for a living or... I don't know. I wouldn't put anything past you. Anne Parks is a practicing witch who's got a tracker device on me and follows me into chat rooms. You need to get a grip. You really do. And you need to stop bullying people. Because it's wearisome. Nobody wants it. I don't watch your videos. I find you depressing. Just to look at your face. To me is depressing you sit there with that slack mouth and those bug eyes and it's almost as though you can see the clock going you know who can you have a dig at next one thing i'll say for you 
apparently you were saying that um, you needed more view time. Well, you're getting that with the videos you're doing, aren't you? Everybody loves a train wreck. So there you go. Maybe get your husband on again, do a bit of cross-dressing. Or your brother. You and your brother. My God. Put the same wig on each of you and you'd be interchangeable. You're exactly alike. Physically alike. And also your genetic makeup in that you're both hateful people. I heard also that you've gone to, um, you went to two larger channels, STS and um, what was the other one? Um, they had a board or something where they, and they kicked you out, didn't they? They kicked you off there because they realised that you're a fraud. And as for STS, I don't watch them. Um, I've seen snippets occasionally and they're funny, some of the things that they say and do. But do you know what? They're not idiots. They're intelligent people underneath that, very intelligent people underneath that comedy mask. So don't think you're going to go over there and pull the wall because they will realise what you are. And everybody needs to realise what you are. And what I would like to see is for you to look into your heart, look into your soul, mend yourself, Whatever it takes, mend yourself. Stop using all of that suppressed anger and loneliness and your depression. Stop using all that to hit out at people for no reason. It isn't attractive and it might pull the viewers in, but you know, wouldn't you rather be liked as a person, as an individual? Tell you what, what I do every single day of my life, I try to do one positive thing for somebody else and in saying that I don't mean Alfie or my family because it happens all the time with them but I'm talking about the stranger even if it's only a smile and hello or if I'm out fetching their coffee from the counter um, helping them with a the shopping bag or just chatting to them in the streets just something to make somebody else feel a little bit better. You have to start somewhere, Sherry. Look within yourself. Be the change, as they say. Be the change that you would like to see instead of emitting hate, emit kindness. You'll find that it will come back to you, just as your hatefulness is going to reverberate and it's going to cause you massive damage. 
on so many levels. That's it, my tea has gone cold and I may be back, back later. I'm actually, um, I've got time, I'm going to go up the road and get some, some plants and um, I am getting a house ready to sell. I uh, did a lot of work yesterday, more than I should really. So I am getting it ready to sell, it's too big for me and I need to be somewhere different. But I may do a video about that later. In the meantime, Sherry, this video is about you. Take heed.